Good morning. It's good to be with you again this morning, and thank you to Mary Smith for the lovely music, Great is God's Faithfulness to Each One of Us. I am Janet Brenneman, and I'm happy to be leading you this morning. Today is election day in our country, so we are changing the morning devotional format a bit to take this time to pray especially for the elections around our country, for choices of local and state and national leaders. I'll intersperse scripture and some short thoughts with some short audible prayers and also some short times of silence for your prayers. All of us gathering together to pray to our gracious God for God's will to be done. Please lift your own gratitude and petitions to our Lord Jesus in this, our community. All of this time together is prayer. We need to pray. We as God followers and worshipers are called to pray. Listen to these words from 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. It's important to pray, and it is equally important to first humble ourselves. Humility means letting go of our opinions and attitudes that may keep us from loving and forgiving people around us. Let's take a moment of silence. Lord, humble me, humble us. Help each of us to see that we're not always right and everyone else all wrong. Nor does the world revolve around us, nor the U.S. Help us to do what we need to do to rid ourselves of pride so that we too can humble ourselves, seek your face with a contrite heart. Let's pray for wisdom. We need, desperately need your wisdom, Lord God. You have given us a lovely country founded on principles from your word. We need men and women who will honor you, trust you, and be instruments in your hands to lead our country well. Leaders who will commit to working together just as a body does when it functions well. Though one body has many parts, all of its many parts form one body. So it is with us in Christ. Jesus, we pray for servant leaders in high places who love the things you love and who care more about others than about themselves. 
leaders who are not afraid to stand up for truth, full of wisdom, who can lead our country well. Guide us in our choices today. Let's pray for strength and encouragement for leaders. Public service is exhausting in the best of times. People who hold or who are running for positions of power expose themselves to high level of scrutiny. It's easy to become discouraged and lose sight of what had inspired them to run for office in the first place. As Christians, we can encourage our leaders even when we didn't vote for them. We show Christ's love when we choose to pray for our leaders no matter what. Gracious Lord Jesus, thank you for creating each of us with unique gifts and for gifting some with leadership abilities to help guide our country. For everyone running for office, whether they win or lose, refresh their spirits and encourage them. Give them the strength to make good and wise decisions both in and out of the public eye. Help them to readily give grace and receive it. Protect their families from sickness, bitterness, and discouragement. May every leader be encouraged by the truth that your love is always stronger than hate. Let's pray for poverty and justice issues. This 2022 election will have lasting effects on issues deeply important to Americans. People with money and power will have an easier time promoting their perspectives, but the election will also affect others without the means to amplify their voices. God calls us to speak out for those who cannot speak, for the rights of all the destitute, from Proverbs 31. We can start by praying that leaders would care about issues affecting the most vulnerable and work to address them. Loving God, thank you for creating each of us with unique gifts, including those with leadership abilities to help guide our country. For everyone running for office today, whether they win or lose, refresh their spirits and encourage them. We pray also for commitment to work together. God purposely created us with differences and designed us to work together. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. From 1 Corinthians 12. 
We are one nation made up of many parts, so it's easy to become divided. We hear us versus them rhetoric, and sometimes we're guilty of buying into it. But we pray that with God's grace, we would work as a nation toward unity. Jesus, thank you for humbling yourself to walk alongside us humans. Help our leaders be willing to walk alongside each other, their constituents, and especially the marginalized. Our leaders have different opinions and priorities. Give them wisdom to navigate differences and work together to strengthen our country. Remind us in this election that you have called Christians to be one body. We'll close by praying the Lord's Prayer together. I will lead. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.